You see, when the Tlaho Kuali, the nourishing center point, the sacred balance, the energetic equilibrium within is lost to human beings, which occurs during the colonization and civilization process. One becomes out of tune and out of sync with the rest of the natural world, and out of sync with Ipalne Mohwani, the greater creative force of the cosmos. And human beings are now forced to manufacture concepts of goodness and badness, rightness and wrongness to guide them. And when concepts of goodness and badness is lost to human beings, they're now left to manufacture man-made laws and religion and construct armies and enforcers of these laws and religions that now guide them. In this state, disparity, chaos, ignorance, unbalance, greed, gluttony, and abstraction hold sway and dominion over human beings. If you take a look at the world around you, relatives, you can see the product of human beings living in this state. You must understand, relatives, there is no goodness. There is no badness in nature or the natural world. There is only the sacred balance. And actions that re-establish and maintain the sacred balance. And actions that disrupt and inhibit the sacred balance. Once civilized man becomes aware of physical symbiosis and the importance of reattaining a symbiotic relationship to and with the rest of the natural living, breathing world, civilized man will now be halfway to a point of understanding in which will give him the insight and capability necessary to begin healing himself and acquiring his own salvation. Halfway. Because as long as a civilized person, which is the lowest state and condition of a human being, remains ignorant to the true purpose of physical life, ignorant to the reality of the soul's journey, ignorant to the natural cosmic laws, modes, and procedures that supersede the lower natural laws of the physical realm in which facilitate the progression of one's soul journey, one will misunderstand every single experience of life one may be able to perceive physically here in this middle realm of Temuanchan and remain stuck and paralyzed in a state of cyclical reactionary stasis, lost in the abstraction, lost in the illusion. You see, there is a purpose and meaning for every single experience you will encounter in this place, here in this middle realm. Make no mistake, and none of them are good. None of them are bad, but all of them are currently necessary. As are the destination and circumstances one will find oneself in, predicated upon the nature of one's response and reaction to these experiences and circumstances. So one must never concern oneself with the surface, but always with the very depths, with the fruit not the flower. When one has no will of one's own, one finally will be able to perceive and thus finally dwell in reality and let all illusions go.